From the newsroom today, an Australian man who was lost at sea for three months with his dog has finally stepped foot back on dry land. Tim Shattuck survived on raw fish and rainwater after his catamaran was severely damaged in a storm. He was spotted by a helicopter from a tuna trawler earlier this week and spoke to the media overnight in Mexico about his terrifying ordeal. I, I'm alive and, uh, and uh, I did, really didn't think I'd make it, you know, so um, thank you, thank you so much. Donald Trump says he expects to be charged over the January 6 Capitol attack. The former president wrote on Truth Social that he's received a letter to report to a grand jury, which he claimed almost always means an arrest and indictment will follow. It's another legal setback for Trump, who's already facing criminal charges for mishandling top secret documents after leaving office. The Commonwealth Games Federation is considering legal options after Victoria pulled out of hosting the 2026 Games. The Federation said it would be seeking compensation from the state government for defaulting on the contract. A new host city for the 2026 Games will be discussed next month when the Federation members meet in Trinidad and Tobago. More than 80% of Aussies use their phone while on the toilet and 25% only wash their bed sheets once a month. Gross, huh? These are some of the early findings from news.com.au's nationwide survey called The Great Aussie Debate. We want you to take part right now. Go to news.com.au forward slash The Great Aussie Debate. Matt Damon has revealed that his wife wanted him to take a break from acting before he agreed to appear in the Christopher Nolan movie Oppenheimer. Just very happy with <laughs> but I actually negotiated in couples therapy, this is a true story, <laughs> the one caveat to my taking time off was if Chris Nolan called. Yeah, I bet his wife's not happy. Anyway, Oppenheimer opens in cinemas on Thursday.